peace and good. I'm Sister Jacinta, and I'm from Ohio, and uh, I've been part of the community for about five years now, and um, I was just reading and reflecting over the gospel uh, reading of today, and where we hear that Jesus went about the towns, um, you know, teaching and preaching the gospel of the kingdom of heaven, and uh, in curing those who are sick, and um, I was in particularly struck by how after that it explains and mentions that um, Jesus, at, seeing at the crowds, felt compassion for them because he meant and saw them as a sheep without a shepherd. And so dwelling on that sentence alone, um, I just really uh, certainly felt in my heart that uh, all of us at one time or another goes through that experience of feeling that alone in that suffering and feeling abandoned and not believing that God is really there and sees us and seeing us and not even caring about to help us out of it. And so um, with this, I in this, with this passage, I feel like this is um, a really strong point that uh, Matthew makes in this gospel, that Jesus does sees us in that suffering and wants to help us out of it. And um, by making that really strong point, um, that it was that we can see that it was out of that motive of feeling that love and compassion for the people that he did all those things. And so um, with this, it also comes to mind of a meditation of our founder, uh, who it points to the gospel reading that after Jesus' resurrection, he asks Peter, you know, St. Peter, do you love me? You know, feed my lambs, tend my sheep. And um, with that, we can see that the true sense of love is feeding our you know, brothers and sisters and caring for the sheep, you know, members of a you know, church. And um, it's good that you know, we do a lot of that in the church communities, um, feeding them you know, the material food, but is also there's also the need to feed them with the spiritual food of like the Eucharist and like encouraging them to come to mass with us and um, feeding on the Eucharist and also with the scripture and um, and really being more attentive to the scriptures since we have, we can receive a lot of light and um, consolations and confirmations in a direction in the scriptures. And so um, with this, I hope that it helps you you know, during this uh, Advent to really um, try to pay more attention to when you feel that stirring in your heart and um, really have that at the root of all your actions. Amen.